Wow, what a gorgeous little forest ecosystem we've got here, huh? In forests like these, research over the past few decades has shown how different species of mycorrhizal fungi that exist in the soil are able to connect in various ways to the root tips of different species of plants and trees to facilitate the transfer of nutrients between them all, uniting individuals, regardless of their species, class, domain, and kingdom, for the survival of them all. This fungal network has been dubbed the Wood Wide Web, and it creates different groupings of species that work together based on the type of mycorrhizal fungi connection that they're able to form. Some species are grouped together based on connections to species of arbuscular mycorrhizal fungi, like these western red cedars, sword fern in the understory, and big leaf maple trees like this one here, whereas other trees like Douglas fir and birch are connected through an ectomycorrhizal fungi. Flowering plants in the family Ericaceae, like blueberries, huckleberries, salal, and even arbutus trees, all connect to species of ericoidal mycorrhizal fungi, and then there are flowers like orchids, which connect to their own unique group of fungi. From these studies, we've been able to observe specific nutrients flowing from one individual to another in cycles that alternate back and forth depending on the season or when one tree is damaged or sick and maybe requiring more nurturing. And quite often, these nutrients are sent from one individual to another in what seems to be favorable relationships, like its own offspring. Now, we have an understanding of how this happens in terms of energy flow, where certain individuals are energy sources, or those containing or creating excess energy, which flows down through their stem to the fungal network in the soil, and towards energy sinks, or those lacking those same resources. However, we still don't understand exactly why or how this all happens the way it does, who is making these decisions to send energy where and how, and there's still quite a bit of ongoing debate and research around this. Is it the tree consciously making the decision to send its own offspring more resources to ensure their survival and thus the success of their species, or specifically choosing to send its excess nutrients to another individual that it knows has the ability to return the favor when the seasons switch and it may be in need. Or perhaps it's the fungi recognizing the genetic similarities between the strong energy producing tree that provides it with so much food and deliberately supporting its offspring to ensure more resources for itself in the future. Maybe we'll never know and Maybe that's all right. You see, in some ways, our desire to find a party responsible for making these decisions is inherently limited and a very anthropocentric, individualist point of view that projects our framework of thinking onto these other species whom we couldn't ever possibly have any idea what they are thinking or feeling or what that even looks like to them as we are not them, nor could we ever be. We will always be experiencing the world through the lens and perspective of being human, so how could we ever know what or how a fungi or tree is experiencing in why. Instead, perhaps it's an unconscious way of being that these species have just evolved to be, acting in what we would only closest know as a flow state, or a state of unconsciously being that just does things, like how your throat muscles unconsciously move in a way that swallows food, that feeds the bacteria in your gut which breaks it down to allow you to absorb the energy contained in it, that gives you the energy needed to power those swallowing muscles in the first place. Neither of these systems are necessarily conscious of what and why what's happening is, they're just doing what they do existing together naturally and unconsciously engaged in the present. And I think maybe that is what's happening with these plants, trees, and fungi here. They're all just doing what they've evolved to always be doing, which is working and existing together so that they all can survive, thrive, and create a better world for those who follow. And I think maybe there's a lesson in there for us somewhere too.